Okay, now for question number 13 from the October November 2021 paper 2 variant 2 um, 0580 syllabus from Cambridge. This is a question all about indices. It says write 243 times 27 to the power of 2n as a single power of 3 in terms of n. Okay, so now basically what we have to we'll realize is both of these numbers should be able to be written as 3 to the power of something. I know that 27 is 3 to the power of 3, so we've got to find out what 243 is. So we can just simply just to do some trial and error. For example, 3 to the power of 4, I know that's 81. So let's change that to, let's say, 5. 3 to the power of 5, 2, 4, 3. That's fine. So 3 to the power of 5. So now what I can do is replace 2, 4, 3 with 3 to the power of 5. So I have 2, 4, 3 becomes 3 to the power of 5 times. And I've got 27 as 3 to the power of 3. Replace the 27 with 3 to the power of 3. And then just simplify. This is 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of, this is going to be 6n, multiply the powers. And then I can combine these two, they have the same base, I can add the power, so it's 3 to the power of 5 plus 6n. So there's the answer, 3 to the power of 5 plus 6n. That's as a single power of 3 in terms of n. That's simple as that part A. Part B says k equals 2 times 3 squared times p cubed, where p is a prime number greater than 3. It says write 6k squared as a product of prime factors in terms of p. Okay, so 6 times k squared. So k is 2 times 3 squared times p cubed, and you've got to square that part. So this is going to be like 2 times 3 times all of this, which is 2 to the power of 4. Sorry, 2 to the power of 2, 2 squared times 3 squared squared is 3 to the power of 4. I have to just, you know, square each of these powers. So basically, when you square, when you raise a power to another power, you have to multiply by that number. So the 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 2 squared. 3 squared to the power of 2 is 3 to the power of 4. And p cubed to the power of 2 is p to the power of 6. I have to multiply the powers. All right, so now um, I've got 2 times 2 squared, which is 2 cubed. 3 times 3 to the power of 4, which is 3 to the power of 5. I mean, these are these are like to the power of one, and I'm left with times p to the power of six. So this is now your answer. This is a product of prime factors in terms of p. Simple as that. There's your answer. Um, that's the answer to question number thirteen a and b. Um, I hope that was clear. Um, other questions about indices and I guess prime numbers and prime factors can be found in the playlist that I'll put in these places here. You can subscribe to my channel over here and you can go, go to other questions from this particular paper, which is two, uh, paper two, variant two from October 2021 from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus from the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.